Hi everyone, this is Dave and welcome to iPad Focus. In this episode, I'm going to be running through some of the new apps that support the Retina display on the new iPad. So let's kick things off with the very first one, which is a free app and it's called the Weather Channel. This has got some fantastic graphics, really cool backgrounds, and it really does deliver a lot of information regarding the weather. You're presented with it in different ways, whether you've got the iPad in sort of portrait mode or landscape. When you've got it in portrait mode, you're presented with the weather plus a sort of scatter graph down the bottom showing how the temperature is going to change throughout the week. Switch it round to landscape mode and you've got some really nice graphics as well as a summary of each day's weather. When you tap on each day, it actually expands that section to give you more information, sort of like an hourly summary of both the temperature, precipitation, humidity, and also wind speed. Some great graphics plus the ability to also add on extra cities. So not only can you use your own location, but you can also add in other places, maybe places you're visiting or where your relatives live, and you can check out the weather there too. Now the second app is also a free app, and this has been updated for the Retina display as well, and that's called Flipboard. I absolutely love Flipboard. What it basically does is it pulls in information, uh, perhaps from your Twitter or your Facebook or different RSS feeds, and presents it to you like a magazine. The fact that they've updated this for the Retina display really does make sense. The text is ultra, ultra crisp. And when you're looking at particular articles or tweets that have been pulled into the client here, you can actually tap on those, read them in full, and then reshare them. And you've got the option of resharing them on different services. Flipboard really does make sense for the new iPad. Absolutely superb job and a pleasure to use. Next one is also a free application, and that is Vimeo. Vimeo is a video service similar to YouTube, but I think it's used more for sort of short filmmakers and people who really do produce videos perhaps for clients as well. They offer different sort of levels of service. But this new application gives you a way of searching the videos, of discovering new videos via the Vimeo staff picks and the HD channel, and the fact that they've updated their app as well to support the rest of the display is a good thing. It looks really nice and works extremely well. There are a few quirks in the Vimeo app. I think they could improve the user interface slightly, but the fact that it's free means that you can't really grumble. Now we're moving on to three apps that actually cost some money. The first one is a game and it is called Foosball HD. You remember the table football games? Wow. This thing looks absolutely superb. Really nice graphics, extremely easy to play. You sort of touch your finger on the screen and move your players and spin your players around to try and score against the opponent. The only letdown was the two player game. You have to play on the same device. I couldn't find a way of challenging a player on another iPad. But the varying difficulties on the single player game, choosing from easy, medium or pro, means that you've got quite a good challenge trying to beat the actual computer generated opponent. Now Foosball HD is £1.99 in the App Store or if you're in the US, $2.99. Next up is Tweetbot. Now I use Twitter a lot and I was super excited when I learned that Tweetbot was actually updated for the new Retina display. It really looks super crisp. This is a great Twitter client. It allows you to check your main timeline. It's very intuitive, the way you swipe left or right to look at conversations. Replying to messages, super easy, handles multiple accounts, and just works extremely well. This particular app, Tweetbot, again, £1.99 in the App Store, or $2.99. So that's it for this episode of iPad Focus. Thank you very much for watching. Please do join me again next week for another episode. And until then, enjoy your iPad and enjoy playing those apps.